to the Key Mama show. And Thank this, you. we have an open door policy. Feel free, we are going to have a conversation. We are celebrating ourselves. It's International Women's Month. Women in business, women in the forefront. Let me tell you, the women we rule, we rule the world. So welcome once again. But before we start, I'd like to share my screen to uh, my sponsors to show some ads. So give me a second and we will move on. Thank you. My name is Dr. Boatry. I was born and raised in Ghana. And I'm very lucky to be serving a large population of African uh, community in, in the Bronx as a family physician. Like you, I go home at least once a year to visit family and friends. The risk of acquiring malaria is very real in Africa. To prevent it from getting malaria, we should take our prophylaxis prior to leaving and whilst on the trip, because keeping ourselves safe from malaria is our priority. Remember to visit your family physician as you make plans to visit back home. Thank you. Thank My name you. is Dr. Boatry. I was born and raised. Okay, so hi viewers, lovely. If you are in the Bronx area, Dr. Boache reside on the Grand Concourse and Bedford Park. And uh, even if you don't have a coverage, feel free to visit. Visit him, he will find a way to assist you. He will find a way to assist you don't be scared that if you don't have a coverage. Welcome, uh, Miss Mondi. Thank you, Okay, Mama. Thank you. Um, Happy International Women's Day to you as well. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we warmly welcome you to the Key Mama Show once again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The Key Mama Show is an you know, international platform for everyone, regardless mm -hmm. of socioeconomic status, your gender, mm -hmm. your religion, or your faith. You're welcome okay. on my show. Okay. Now, the platform is yours, Miss Mondi. Tell us, give us a brief background about yourself. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is Mondi Tete. A um, few months ago, I was born in Rosemond Apia. So for purposes of those who would be confused about the name, it's Rosemond Apia, now on the Tete. So um, without going much into that, unless I'm asked, uh, I'll just keep why that. <laughs> you know, but I'm a, I'm a mother of two, two boys, two teenage boys, and a business um, enthusiast. Mm -hmm. um, I love to see women empowered. Mm -hmm. And so, um, in the absence of telling women to be empowered, I, I, I think I should, I should be empowered and be a role model for other women as well. So, right. um, I reside in Ghana, I'm a Ghanaian, um, born to Rhoda Tugwa and the late Matthew M. N. Tete. I currently reside Uh, we can hear you. If you can hear me, your microphone is off. It's off. Your microphone is off. Thank you. Please bear with us. You know, the technology sometimes they act up. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you just join us, you, well, our sister is here with us, uh, Miss Mondi. That's how she preferred to be called. So welcome to the Kim Mama Show. Now you're back on, thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You were muted, so we didn't hear the rest of the oh. presentation, yes. Oh. Okay. So I was saying, I don't know why I got cut off, but um, I'm a Ghanaian and an African, an enthusiast about African and global issues. Um, a mother of two teenage boys and a business enthusiast as well. Um, I'm open to all the questions on this part. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And I heard uh, your dad is the like one famous uh, businessman in the uh, exhibition of estate at Dan Suma. Can you tell us about it? 
We want to oh. share. Although it's you, but we want to know you more. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really wish I could. Um, well, my, my dad was Dr. Emmett Tete, like you, like you really said. Um, the brain behind Unibrick uh, building technology, you know, that was used to build the transformer housing as we know it. And so, but um, I don't want to talk about my dad with a lot of um, excitement, you know, I, I'm excited about him being my dad and all. I mean, just that I didn't have um, a lifetime living with him because of all his um, business engagements, traveling around the world, and, you know, so some of us had to suffer as a result of that, you know, so until, you know, and finally he left us. And um, talking about your uni break housing, I should say we are still in court. The old man fought a long fight, a long battle, and he was in the middle of the battle and the Lord called. And so the battle is still on. We are still in court, you know, trying to reclaim our property from whoever. So okay. that will not allow me to do that. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for giving this uh, brief uh, background about your dad. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, Madam mm -hmm. Mundi, you are doing a great job from the research and what I heard in Ghana. You know, you have a rice value of chain. Uh, this means that you grow rice, your rice, transport rice, uh, cook delicious rice. What type, <laughs> uh, what's your brand? Because when I heard, I said, wow, rice, she's in the wedding <laughs> business. Tell us about the uh, all about this rice business that you are in and your packaging, your brand name. Tell us about it. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll say um, the, the rice company is called Afri Diamond Enterprise. Um, we started not too long ago, just about barely two years ago, you know, but thankfully we've made a lot of impact. Impact not just in the product that we have developed, but impact on the people that we have engaged to, to make the dream possible. You know, I am, I am happy when I see that um, from this little thing we are doing, we, we are impacting, um, I mean, the rural communities, men and women, on the farms, their families are benefiting, you know, their dependence and the society mm -hmm. and the village in general is benefiting. I think for me, that is very uh, exciting. We grow um, the variety called Legon One or, or X Biker variety. We are not doing the jasmines and the rest. We are doing a local Ghanaian variety. Real um, rice. Real rice, you can say that. <laughs> and we also try as much as possible to limit contact with, with chemicals. You know, we, we, we hope that very soon we'll go entirely off any form of chemical and go purely organic because we are looking also at the export market. So we engage and collaborate with the local farmers and we support them to grow the rice and then we off tick and do the processing and the packaging and all. So as you see here, yeah, I don't know whether you can see, but this yes. this is a packaging for uh, one kilo. And you can see the name on it, Mondi Rice. Mm -hmm. We have two brands already. We have Mondi Rice and we have Domino Rice as well. So we are already on the market. We just started the market um, activation not too long also because we are quite new. And we see a lot of, we see that the market is heavy with imported rice. We knew that already before yeah. we actually even put it. <laughs> you know, but I mean, we look forward to the days where we will not have to fight too hard for others to leave the market for us to, to be there. I believe that uh, you know, like our president said some time ago, and he keeps saying that we, we hope to um, reduce importation of rice as a nation and then focus on the production and consumption of local rice. And so for us, that is a motivation. We are looking forward to that day because our market is choked with, with the imported rice. Right. Yeah. So there, there might be some policies that uh, the government have to put in place 
Absolutely. So Absolutely. Some of Absolutely. the incoming, uh, importing rice into the country. So they will the rice. I will use the word our Ghana local rice, which is the good mm -hmm. one, which people yeah. don't know. But once you you know get into this health, health eating health, Absolutely. you will Absolutely. know that these are the real good rice that you can eat. Yes, the less carbohydrates. And seeing the packaging, I'm so impressed. It meets the international standard and it's a very, very nice package. If I may ask, what are some of the challenges that you have before we come into, we already mentioned that, you know, there's a lot of competition that we know, but when the plants and everything, the processing, is there some challenges that you are facing? And how much, how, how many quantity that you produce, let's say weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, can you take us through that? All right, so the challenges are enormous, so enormous. You can talk about the financial challenges, you can talk about the labor challenges, you can talk about the marketing challenges, the social, even policy challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, we brace through all of it. We talk about um, um, logistical challenges. But currently, as we speak, we are yet to acquire our own milling house. But um, we've just crossed the experimental stage where we piloted. So in our pilot, we um, engaged about about eleven farmers, and we've produced about that is something tons of rice already you know, undergoing processing. So we know that the rice uh, season takes about four to five months to mature. So within a year, we do two seasons. So we've done our first two seasons and we have barely about 30 something uh, tons of rice in paddy form undergoing processing, you know. So as we venture into the market, then now we'll be able to tell that, okay, we are able to tell out, churn out this quantity over this period of time. We are still new, remember? So a lot of the things are now happening and we are also learning along the way, so yeah. Right. Uh, viewers and listeners, uh, welcome once again to the Key Mama Show. If you just join us, we have our sister here, uh, Mondi. Uh, Mondi is a real business woman. She doesn't play. She have much <laughs> rice. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to taste mm -hmm. the Mondi uh, rice. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> and hopefully uh, she will come and showcase at the Ghana Fest, uh, August 30 at Crotona Park to showcase okay. the Monday rice and cook some for us to have a sure. take and, sure. and, and see what sure. we are really tasting. Uh, as we are celebrating uh, women in business, women all over the world, uh, in your business, uh, like you mentioned, the government encouraging, you know, uh, businesses or small business entrepreneurship to go on. Uh, is there a support? Did you get a support from the government? Because uh, I remember, the, I think I forget, but uh, they come up with a program that if you have a business, they can come in and, you know, support you financially. Did you have something like that? Well... I, I must say I am thankful and um, privileged to be supported in a way, but not from Ghana government. Um, just at the onset of my business, I called the eye of uh, the US government. So that, that is the kind of support I'm, I'm benefiting from at the moment. And that is part of the reason why I've come as far as I've come. So yeah. Oh, so that, you, that, that is you get support from... <laughs> From US, hey, I'm getting jealous. Oh, now I'm getting jealous. So you would rather uh, sitting there and you get it from afar, you know. You know I had for yeah, you. but it comes with a, a lot of work as well. You have to prove yourself. You have to. It's not that simple. You know, I'm sure you know that. Oh, so yeah. yeah, we have to prove. I mean, the efficacy of what you are doing, and I mean, before you can go, they came on board, even at the idea stage just at the idea stage it was not even because of anything i had done already oh, you know wow. yeah so the grace of god has has been um 
I mean, I mean, it's been by the grace of God, and I'm I'm so grateful. And just not not just because of the funding, but aside the funding, the kind of partnership that comes with it, I mean, for me, is priceless. Right. Where you do, yeah, you are you are you are compelled to do the writing. You are compelled or taught to do things properly. Mm -hmm. And for me, before I even set up the, the company, that was one thing I, 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 I desired, you know, and thankfully it came through like that. So they work with you, they train you, they coach you, and by virtue of the requirements and by virtue of all the things you have to do, by the time you are done, you are, you are really prim and proper, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yes, yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Because uh, whatever that they attach their name, they want to make sure that it's a good product. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. congratulate you on that for getting that far. So you're already in the system. So soon <laughs> we've seen the shelves filled out with Monday rice. Amen. Amen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And apart from the rice uh, business that you are in, what else do you do? Well, I should say um, I, I'm actually uh, an artist. I'm an, a fine artist where I paint and draw. I do interiors, I do um, clothing, I do beaded clothing. You know, so the kind of clothing that I do, they are artistic pieces. So when you see my clothing anywhere, there's something on the clothing that you see that will make you know that this is coming from Rose Glitz. And my company name for the clothing line is Rose Glitz, Rose Glitz Limited. So I create bead embellished clothing for both male and female. So on Facebook, you see us there as well, um, Rose Glaze Ghana, you can go and check out some of, some of our designs there. Yeah, so I'm essentially an artist. I have a, a little gallery in my house where I have invented what I call, I, I, I named it Trader. What it means is I use artworks um, to create lighting for interiors typically for hotel interiors and high-end home materials. So the artwork is on the wall. It's not just hanging there, but it's giving you light, the night as well. So it's an alternative lighting to your regular light. So it's, it's mood lighting, very beautiful. Natural light yeah. coming, penetrating. No, 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 electricity, not, not, not natural light. Electricity, um, I mean, powered. So oh. you connect to the power source, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I see. I think I'm looking forward when I come to visit, I'll do a live coverage to talk exactly. about some of your works and never right. our viewers, listeners will be able to know exactly what we are discussing or you are talking about. Because yeah. I can imagine some of your works, the, uh, the interior decoration, your, your invention and everything. I, I want you to share something with us. <laughs> today, but I think another time uh, we, will, yeah. we will be able to uh, share certain things uh, on the screen, yes. Um, before we continue, I would like to make this short ad, so announcement. Um, hello everyone, you can see my screen right here. Health is wealth, like we are saying now, there are so many, you know, unorganic food out there. We eat and eat. We don't even know sometimes what we are consuming. But we are consuming and you cannot be consuming without exercising. Coming March 19, the National Ghana Parade Council, the Key Mama Foundation, collaboration with City Medical, we will be having a health walk community health walk, March 19, starting from Grand Concourse 181st, and we will end at 161st on the Grand Concourse, 7 a.m. sharp, because we don't want the sun or the weather to mess up. Come early, we finish early. Start somewhere, and you will see the difference. Start a little bit of exercise here and there. We all know that our immune system has been compromised because of this, you know, uncertainty viruses that flow in everywhere that you go. So exercise help boost 
your immune system and help your overall you know, health. So don't count yourself out. You can use a shopping cart, which I'm going to use one and hold it as a walker and just roll because I want to be healthy. So see you coming Saturday, March 19, 7 a.m. at Grand Concourse and 181st. Uh, if you are here, you would have joined us <laughs> to do the yeah, exercise. <laughs> yes, uh, health, health is wealth. Now you can have all the money. You, if your health is not good, forget about it. Really yeah, so that's why we pro So uh, what are some of the social network handles? Do you promote your um, product? So our viewers and listeners can follow and check it out since we don't have it here. Yeah, so you can go to our website, afridiamondfoods.com. You can go to um, our handle on Instagram, afridiamond Ghana, and uh, Facebook, same, same afridiamond Ghana. All right. Uh, apart from the fashion, your artistic, do you also have a catering uh, business that you do? Yes, that is also a new baby I am nursing currently. Um, the idea behind that is the fact that we produce the rice. We actually have a range of rice products. So we have the whole rice, we have the broken rice, we have rice powder. And so I thought about it and I said, okay, well, instead of waiting for people to um, come buy the raw rice, let's start using the rice to produce, I mean, to cook. And, you know, for people to have a first-hand feel of what the, the rice tastes like, you know, so right from, from, from um, our food, people can make a decision on, on, on it. So that is what gave back to uh, the catering service. So I have some of the most experienced chefs and, and cooks in my kitchen where we do um, virtual, we have a virtual, uh, virtual restaurant. So you place orders and we deliver. But we're also planning to come up with a, a physical uh, restaurant and I'm sure we'll have you there when, when you come around. <laughs> of course. Yes. I like rice is my main, you know, favorite dish. So oh, any okay. rice, I will enjoy it. And uh, do you have uh, your rice? You show me two packages. Now, you know, they have different rice, some that they already pre-season. You just boil the water and pour it in. They have different types. Do you have such varieties or is this just two? Or you plan to have it? Yes, yeah, so we plan to have it. We plan to do so much with the rice we have right now. We are just taking it one step at a time. Um, remember we are new, we are young. So we, we just produce and put this on the market for now. As we go, we'll be doing fortified rice, we'll be doing vitamin A, then we'll be doing, you know, a variety and even process the rice into other products. So for the meantime, I've just used to, but we have the sizes as well. This is one kilo that I showed to you, but we have five kilos, 25 kilos and 50 kilos. Okay. So I think uh, next Christmas time, I give away, rice and live chicken to uh, single parents. Uh, okay. uh, so maybe we will tap into your rice and see how we can uh, get a <laughs> discount and buy from you. <laughs> that 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 really start, uh, uh, that. That day. Yes, uh, you are doing a wonderful job. You have created a business helping, you know, people to get something to do, earn some income. But sometimes, you know, in our communities, we have the less privilege that they have uh, educational, which is academically, they are not good, but vocationally, bam, they are great. Uh, are you doing something with these people that have this challenge or obstacles in their life that you adopt them and groom them, train them with your artistic work, interior decoration, rice packaging, rice farming. Tell us, do you have something like that? Okay, I, I really love this particular question. Um, so we have a foundation called Rose Glaze Foundation. You know, in the foundation, what I do is, um, 
hitherto I did not have a location where I could put them all together. So what I used to do was to do virtual um, trainings. So I go rent a hall somewhere, anywhere in the city. And then I organize workshops, free workshops for women, particularly women. But even when I call for the trainings, I see some men come through, which is fine. You know, so I train them. Yes, I train them in flower craft. It's part of my artistic works. So flower crafts, how to use the, I mean, how to actually make flower and beautify your home out of almost nothing. So that I don't have the excuse of saying, I don't have money to go and buy this and that. So I'm, I'm unable to start. You can just start with tissue paper. And finally, I'm, I'm unable to share my screen. I'm, I attempted to share my screen, but um, only you can share. I don't know whether you can oh, allow. No, that's why, yeah, you are, I, if you ask me, now you are allowed to share your screen. OK, fine. Okay. You know, so I organize um, the trainings for the women and show them, um, teach them various crafts and skills. Um, let me see what I can show. Yeah. Um, okay, give me a bit of time. Let me search for some of our. Yes, no problem. Viewers and listeners, okay. you are listening to our sister all the way from Ghana. You know, now media technology make life easy for us. Uh, she's a woman in business. And this is Women's International Month. We empowering all women that don't limit yourself. Don't let anything limit you. Don't say, I can't. Say, I can. Then, you know, that motivation and everything will come up to you. Start small. Whatever that you are passionate about, start small. If you want to learn some vocational skills, find what you are interested and love to do and get into it. Don't say, oh, uh, I don't have the means. Sick, there are resources. There are so many resources that sometimes we don't tap into it. It's available for us to tap into it, especially women with children. And we let the children, you know, consume all our time and we put everything aside. But don't let that stop you as a parent. You still have a room to do something for yourself. Because if you're happy, anyone around you, your children will be very happy being around you because you are fulfilling uh, what you want to fulfill in life then you can pass it on to your children. So that's exactly our sister here, our guest, Mondi doing. And I'm so proud of her to get into this rice business, packaging, farming, you know, creating jobs. You don't have to wait on someone, you know, you don't have to wait on someone. Now we are sharing this screen with you. Over to you, Sister Mondi. Okay, so here, we can see is one of our, our workshops. I, I really want to share a lot, a lot more, but I hope you saw that. Yes, I saw. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into it, it's gonna take our time, but right. just to say that, yes, we have, we have a, an NGO going like that, Rose Glaze Foundation, so the women you saw there are studying or were being trained in flower crafts and bead embroidery. You know, okay. bead embroidery is the craft that I use to make my clothing, to make them outstanding. Oh, I wish I could. You know, so we have one oh. of them. Okay, fine. Let me, let me, let me. Switch. Yes. <laughs> because I now there's so much to study. Yeah, they having uh, like a wedding, big parties and stuff. They mm -hmm. have this beaded outfit, and I, I, you know, I love that beaded outfit. It looked like a great yeah. corset. Oh, yes, this yes. Is this, is, this is a lighted. In fact, this this was sold to a Canadian a, a, a 
one um, officer at the U.S. Embassy in Canada here, she took it to Canada. It's currently in Canada. She showed the photo to me just about a week ago. They've placed it so beautifully in their living room. So it's, yeah. it's an artwork of the elephant, and I put the, the, the lighting system on the head. Right. So you light it, if you can see the cable, you light it, and then it gives you, it lights your room or whatever space you put it. Right. So you can put off your main light and, and enjoy this. Wow, that's see. so beautiful. Show you. Show so you imagine a... you have two, like four, five different lighting up the, oh. <laughs> Absolutely, you will enjoy it. I know. <laughs> you will I enjoy imagine it. it already. I'm really imagining it. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait. To I have one here to put in my living room. Yes, yes, yes. The yes. only thing, the only challenge I've had with um, with um, the US, you know, the voltage or the is it the wattage or voltage is oh, not gosh, the yes. same. We are doing two twenty. You are doing is it 110? Yes, we are 110 and Ghana is 220. So you need a step down or step up. Exactly. 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 So there is uh, an outfit. But let me this, this, this look like no exactly DJ. that outfit look like exactly mine style that I throw on to it's just for you. Everybody. It's just for you. It's just for you. You are wasting it. You should come for it. <laughs> Just to cover you know? the extra meat right there. <laughs> yes. Oh, like don't all. worry. You work on it. You work on it. That's you work on it. Ninth, yeah, throw. I like it. You, you know, you are so much talented. You are so much, you know, you are blessed. And I'm really glad that you are not just keeping it to yourself, but you are sharing and you know, educating others to follow yeah. of what you are doing. This is what our young women need. This is what exactly people like you, mm -hmm. girls like you, to show them that you know. Wow, mm -hmm. now see, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. This take this is so the, the thing with the bigger clothing. Sorry, without cutting you, I think the video clothing actually, if, if I will tell you a bit of background to how it actually started. Go ahead, please. It started in uh, 2010, 2010, and what made me start? So I was married, I had had my first child, and, and I was in a situation where I wasn't allowed to work. I mean, typical of a lot of Ghanaian situations where you're married, mm -hmm. and um, one of the rules in the marriage is that you're not allowed to work. You know, so, <laughs> so as, as I was there by myself and, you know, I am, I'm creative by all, however you tell me, I, I am creative. So it's not being just there and crying and being sorry and being lonely and being whatever. I, I realized I know, even the clothing that I had at the time were so worn out, were so run down, were so trapped. But, I mean, were, they were not, they were not clothing I could, about because I did not even have good clothes. Oh, so God. what came to me was fine. Oh yes. <laughs> so what came to me was um what do I do with this clothing? I mean, so I decided to uh, just embellish what I had, the old clothing that I had. And so I just started playing with them, playing with them. Coincidentally, a friend carried a whole pot of beads and brought them to church and said that. I know you can do something with this. I, I don't know, but I believe you can do something. So I had that pot of beads sitting there. And I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna, so I was making necklaces and whatever else with them. But in terms of the clothing, I decided to use them in a different way to embellish the clothing that I, I had. So I started putting them on my own clothes, wear to church. And that was it. That was it. Yeah, that was it. I I just a year down the line, I had an interview from Africa Reports from Netherlands. One I had not even advertised, you know, I, I, it was just for natural. I mean, they came to the house where I was hiding and doing that little thing, you know. So, and I started coming on TV for interviews. It was an amazing experience, you know. So just from that little corner, doing my little thing and wearing it myself, I started making them for my family. I started making them for church people. And it was explosive. You know, so 
I that was how I turned my my tears into into creativity, and it paid off. It paid off, and I'm still doing it until now. Yes. So I I am glad that you share this your personal life story with us. This is to also encourage other women that, like I mentioned earlier, don't feel sorry for yourself wherever mm -hmm. that you are, that I can, I can, I can. Mm -hmm. Our sister mm -hmm. Monty right here saw an mm -hmm. opportunity, although she was going to the difficult moment, right there, right there. Mm -hmm. So light bulb just pop up and said, let me use my talent, my time, from my corner. Mm -hmm. So if you're a star, yeah. wherever that they put you, they kept you, you will still shine. Mm. Don't feel sorry Amen. for yourself, women. Women out there, don't count on the person. Count on yourself what you mm -hmm. can do. The products that will come out from you, that other people will emulate from you. But don't always sit at one mm -hmm. corner and feel sorry. Imagine, look at wonderful handbag. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, that, that is, is a friend of mine. Is. I know. She came out the way and said, I must have this, but I must have some of this. Oh, dear. Yeah. Swagger bag, man. If you have it, yes. you are the center of the whole occasion. <laughs> Yes. I think you should come and showcase some of your products at Ghana Fest coming up August 13 at Crotona Park. This I will, I will work on that. Try to work it out and come and show, you know, showcase some of your products. You have a nice, you know, nice work. Nice Thank you. And handmade work. Everything you. that you provide is authentic. Is that Thank the right number to use, right? <laughs> yeah thank it, you right the bag i remember years back we used to wow that bag came on and <laughs> I wanted to I have, know. yes that is, that is very key my mind <laughs> yes like you know uh, i like to have the red gold green you know the gun i know you know some Absolutely. and stars to flex okay. the, you know patriotic days when i'm going to okay. flex so just do one special, the Ghana colors, so we can do that. Please. Thank you so much for coming. Like I said, I don't want to waste your time. And this will not be the first or the last time you coming on. We will continue to showcase your product, to come and educate our sisters, our young ones, because nowadays our young ones don't have the patience to wait, to learn. That is the sad and the fearing part because they want everything to be done overnight. And that is where they end up as victims. As we celebrate Women's National Month, I just want to tell my fellow women and young ladies out there that you need to climb the ladder a step at a time. Because if you go, you jump right away, you come and hit the ground and it paralyzed. So we are here as women, from Key Mama to you listening to me, don't let mm -hmm. anybody talk down on what you can do. Be you, do you, and be a woman like our sister right here, Monday. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have? for our young women that's coming up that think that is just the quick from guys who are rich. I'm not saying circumstances drive people to do certain things. I've been there, I've done that. But now it's on the high rise that the determination is not even educating themselves. Even if they pretend like they are educating themselves, they are attending university, they are not focusing on education. All mm -hmm. they do is just a cover up to make their parents happy, but they are not exactly. studying anything. So they, 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 they do whatever they will have to do to get a grade, but they come out mm -hmm. with it. So what advice exactly. for our young women? All right, so young women, 
old women, women from wherever, by woman. Here is the thing. There's no shortcut anywhere. I'm sure we've all had this over and over and over. Now, when we talk about educate yourself or go to school or improve yourself, it's not all about going to sit in the classroom. Some of that ventures may be even a bit too expensive for some of us. So you are unable to afford further schooling. That is fine. But I believe that the best kind of education or training you can give to yourself is a self-teaching, self-tuition, self-learning, self-improvement. Nobody outside yourself would want, to, I mean, can do that for you better than you do for yourself. Because you have to find out what you want your life to be in the next two, five, 10, 20 years. You have to have a roadmap. And look, you have to sit down and put it on paper. You have to be serious about it. It is not, it's not child's play. If you're looking for child's play results, you get child's play results. But if you mean to take your life somewhere and leave a legacy and be a reference point, you definitely have to sit down and take your life seriously, take it into account. Whatever you want your life to be, write it down and pursue it. If it is you know, we go to school and we learn about medicine, we learn pharmacy, we learn nursing, we learn catering, we learn certain things are taught in school, but certain things are also not taught in school. So for example, um, how to even raise uh, a perfect family, if there is anything like that, nothing like that is taught in school. How to be a successful woman is not taught in school. How to be a good wife or is not taught in school, you know. But even the things that are taught in school, if it's accountants, after the accountancy in school, you realize that when you come to real life on the ground, it is not, it's a different ball game. So the same way, consider that in the light of the things that are not even taught in school. So it means that you have to sit down and learn for yourself. Read, study, read, study, read, study. If you don't do that, somebody else will teach you something. If you don't do that for yourself, somebody will show you how to do something. It may be good, it may be wrong. It may be the right thing, it may be, it may be the bad thing for you. So you have to know what you want your life to be and study it, spend time to learn it. Whatever it is, I am, I am, I am gonna invest my next energy into, um, into public speaking. It's something that I, I, I know is not my strength. So I, I intend to spend uh, resources on it. Go study it, learn it. Practice it and, and, and know it because you need, I need it anyway, you know? So whatever it is you want to be as a woman, know that it is not, there's no short route. If you try it, like, she, like Riley said, if you try and do a shortcut, I mean, you realize that you, after so long, you're gonna to have to go back and undo mm -hmm. before you begin to do the right thing again. You must have wasted time. You, you launch yourself into frustration. You launch yourself into, into, into a mess. So it doesn't matter where you are in life at the moment, as a woman, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what you have. Start whatever you want to do with whatever you have, where you are, start now, today, but grab a book and learn. Whatever you want to do, get a book around it and learn. Now you may not have to buy a book, the internet is there. Free information on the internet, go and grab it read about it, learn about it, be a student of what you want to be and learn from others that have made it ahead of you so that you can reduce your, you know, whatever time of reaching there. So everything is possible if, if you mean to, everything is possible. And we have the grace of God, you know, if you avail yourself. So that's my message. Wonderful, wonderful sister Monday right here. Uh, before you leave, can you please give us the information of your business name, where people can go and look for. And if you have a number that you want uh, someone to contact you, that is fine. Right. So for now, you can contact me directly on this, on the number, um, plus 233-55313-5644. Plus 233-55313-5644. And you can as well go to our website and get the nursery information there. And what's the name of the website? 
Afri Diamond Enterprise. Afri Diamond Enterprise. We are going to have Rose Place uh, website coming up again very soon. We had a beautiful one, we lost it. So we have another one coming up. Maybe by next week, it should be ready. I'll share with you. Okay. Thank you so much for appearing on Key Mama Show. Like I said, you're welcome at any time. If you have our other fellow women who are in the business or who want to showcase whatever or talk or advice, they are welcome. You can give them my contact to come on the key. Right. Thank I'll you very that. much. And I'll see you, you again you. very soon to come Thank and you. do a live. I look forward, I look forward to that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Bye. 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 Bye.